Uh, do you think I should wait three days after getting a girl's number to call or text? I'm thinking this would let her have time to wonder if I'm interested and it would make her think I'm a high value man. All right. So this is something that is, you know, it's almost like buzzwords. All right? It is a buzzword. Okay. So the, the, the talk of high value men and, uh, and, uh, and, you know, like displaying your value, I get it. I'm an advocate of it. However, I think sometimes we go too far with it. Okay. So here's the thing. This is something that a lot of people kind of struggle with because, you know, what have we, what have we been, we've been given some basic advice, you know, from family, friends, media, you know, culture. And, you know, it used to be like, oh, if you get a girl's number, you got to wait three days before you call. And, you know, now we don't get numbers and have phone calls anymore. We have, we have text messages or we add on social media. It's a different scene, but there's still this notion out there of, you know, like, should I connect with somebody like this guy is basically saying I connected with this girl. We hit it off. She was so interested that she gave me her real number and he's saying, should I now wait three days to call or text? And I would say no. And uh, the feedback that I would get where I kind of separate myself from, you know, some other conventional sort of wisdom is, you know, what he's talking about. He's talking about this conventional sort of approach saying, don't message right away and give someone time to kind of wonder, is he into me? Uh, you know, she, he's saying this would make her think of a high value man if he doesn't message her. I think that sounds great in theory. And in theory, that does apply. But there are other things. It's like laws. Okay, so there are smaller laws of the universe. And then there are larger laws that trump the smaller laws. So this is one of those things. Sure. To a, a, to a degree, it's very true that if you give someone a little bit of absence and mystery, it allows them to think about you. And that can be good because if they get answers too soon or if that that's not a good thing if you know they have all the answers too soon and too easy they'll think they'll have you figured out what's you know what's why should they then think about you or why they should then they meet you if they've lost all this mystery i get that and also he's this guy is bringing up the the notion that i can give her time to 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 think that i'm a high value man based upon my actions or rather his inaction and i'd say yeah in this very small vacuum what you're saying has some merit, all right? But what I would say has more merit is the environment that we're now in. And the environment that we're now in is high stakes and it's rather quick, all right? So the, it, it's fast paced meaning. So what I'm saying is in this game attraction, with somebody that you really connected with, going three days is really fucking ballsy. And here's what I would say. It's needless because if you got the number the right way and if you had the connection, uh, enough of a connection where you're, you're, this isn't just like a flimsy telephone number from someone who's just like so happy to give out her number to anyone or just gives it out as fake. No, most people actually, when they give out their phone numbers, they're interested in that person. Uh, that's a big deal. You know, still in 2021, that's a big deal. But what I would say is if you've got that phone number and you establish a connection properly so enough that they wanted to get to know you more, you know, like, let's kind of figure this out later, because for whatever reasons, you part ways, right? You're in a different environment. And, you know, waiting three days, I think it's a needless sort of thing when if their story about you is I like this guy. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a small moment, but we hit it off enough that I gave him my number and I, I was wanting to hear from him, you know, and get to know him better. And maybe we might connect, uh, you know, probably her, her desire is that it ends, you know, nobody gives out their telephone number to you for you not to use it. Nobody gives out their telephone number to you for them to not consider getting to know you more in person, you know, how, you know, how, how much of a meet or a date it's going to be. They don't know, but it, they're they're giving it that possibility. They're investing in that possible outcome. And you could wait three days. But if you laid the foundation the right way, it doesn't matter. You could text that person five minutes after you left them. Say, you know, like you could leave a say leave a club and say, Hey, I'm headed home, blah, blah, blah. This is, you know, you could you just say something real quick. 
you could do that and you could also wait seven days and they would think, oh, you're super cool because you waited seven days. Don't do that. But I mean, that could be what they might think about you. Like, well, most people don't wait seven days to, to message after I gave them my number. Some people will think that you're super cool, cool and high value for that. But a lot of people will lose interest, move on, feel rejected. Um, you're You're using a strategy that loses more than it wins. So can you afford to lose? I would say a better strategy for those who don't want to just know that they just lost a great thing or a great opportunity is to move more proactively. And I'm not saying that you have to do this five minutes after, but waiting three days. No, I think that being faster is always the best way because the more information you get, the more quickly, the more that you can calibrate and kind of see what's where you stand. Right? You get information and that allows you to know where you stand and that affects the rest of your gameplay. All right, because if you were to, you know, connect with that person sooner, the next day, you know, like you're just removing a whole lot of possibilities that could influence your outcome negatively. Like you're removing the possibility that they meet, you know, someone on day two, three, four, five, six, you know, in addition to day one that you waited to message them. So you just, you know, people meet a lot of people. And if you're interested in somebody, you have to assume that. There's going to be a lot of other people that are interested in them and trying to connect with them when they cross them in person or nowadays social media on dating. Your competition is mag. It's, 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 it's just so big that you can't even imagine how many guys, a, a good looking girl with or a girl with a lot to offer has at her disposal just on her phone. My goodness, like. Honestly, it's, it's not a great idea, and I'm not trying. It's stupid right now for most people, I'll say. It's stupid for most people to take take the, the strategy of, I'm going to go super slow so she'll think I'm super quick. That is not going to happen when you have the population in masses make participating in a rather quick game, all right? Online dating, everything about it is super quick. The way you make a profile, the way you review a profile, the way that you connect, the way that you go from connection to meeting in person, it's all super fast. So for you to think that the game can, at this point for you, slow down, it's like fighting. It's like trying to swim upstream. I don't knock you for it because at times that can be a great strategy. And for the right person, if used selectively, that could absolutely be the right move. But for 95% of the population right now, if you wait three days after you get a phone number to connect, you've shot yourself in the foot. Something there's there can be some you're doing some form of self-sabotage because that's not going to go well. They're going to feel insecure, rejected, move on. They're going to have so many other in, uh, possible interests or distractions. So that's not something that I would say sooner the better. And uh, it's all about the story and what that they have about you. That's the only thing that really matters. You could text and, and call them on on minute one away from them. And if they liked you that much, they wouldn't give a fuck. And they wouldn't think that it was, oh, this is a demonstration of lower value from this guy. No. All right. They'd be like, fuck, yeah, this person that I was really feeling, um, you know, like just gave me a little connection so that I had their number and we could connect. And, you know, like I'm talking about just like. Uh, the situation that I believe he's talking about is you get a girl's number and then, you know, like you text them and just kind of say like, hey, such and such. Uh, it's good to meet you, blah, blah, blah. You could do that one minute after leaving them and say just, hey, save this number or, you know, like this is me, you know, and I'll be I'll, uh, I'll, I'll reach out to you tomorrow and we'll figure something out to connect. That's all it would need to be. All right. It doesn't need to be anything special. All that matters is what you develop in person, that connection. The story that they have for you is what matters, whether it's day minute one, day one or day 10 or day 100. If you make that strong of a connection on day 100, you can message somebody and they'll be like, fuck, yeah, I remember you. Um, yeah. And, they, and you just go into it. So I'm just saying those strict rules of wait this amount of time, it's it might be good for you, but for most of the population, you have to understand that everything is moving really quickly, the distractions, the opportunities, and also for you. Thanks for watching. If you appreciated the content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you believe that learning about better strategies for life and love is advantageous, I invite you to join Get Game Group. Membership is free, open to men and women, offers weekly game video lessons, and a weekly mailbag for member submissions. Click the link in the description to join.